Hello, my name is Magnus Johnson. I'm a lecturer in environmental and marine sciences based at the University of Hull. The title of this presentation is an introduction to some fisheries management concepts and jargon. Fisheries management is awash with jargon that defines fairly simple concepts. My intention here is to describe some of those concepts in lay terms. I hope my efforts will prove useful to students, fishermen and the general public. Here we have a blank graph with two axes or variables. On the vertical axis we have uh, yield over maximum sustainable yield. This is the proportion of a theoretical maximum that can be taken out of a particular fished stock on an annual basis. 1 equals the maximum proportion that can be caught every year. Not 0.5 would be half the maximum that can be caught every year. So this is the proportion that's taken out. That is the catch that's taken out from a theoretical maximum that can be taken every year. How, what's the maximum amount you can take from a stock every year? On the horizontal axis we have biomass over the biomass required to produce that maximum sustainable yield. This is the biomass of stock required to produce the maximum each year. In order to produce enough fish to catch each year there has to be a standing stock. Ideally you want there to be enough stock around to produce enough fish for next year's catch. If there's less than the amount required to produce the maximum sustainable yield, you'll either have to catch less or risk taking more out of the stock than will grow back the following year. If this value is 2, then there's twice as much stock around as would be required to produce the maximum sustainable yield, the amount that can be produced on a regular basis. This can be a good thing because it offers some insurance against years where perhaps growth is poor or there are few eggs produced or, heaven forbid, fisheries managers get it wrong and overestimate stock sizes. The green line here therefore represents a point where the yield taken out, that is the catch, exactly equals the maximum possible or the maximum sustainable yield. It is the maximum amount that fisheries managers generally like to see taken out of a stock. They don't want to see any more taken out than the maximum sustainable yield. This orange line bisects a horizontal axis at 1, the point at which standing stock of the fished population is exactly enough to produce the maximum possible on an annual basis. Fishery scientists often refer to this point as BMSY, the biomass level at which maximum sustainable yield can be removed without damaging the prospects for taking the same amount out next year. The red line here represents the point at which biomass or standing stock is half the amount required uh, to produce the maximum sustainable yield. Fishery scientists often refer to the level of stock or biomass here as 0.5 BMSY. That is, half the biomass required, required to produce the maximum sustainable yield. It's generally regarded as dangerous, uh, as a dangerous point for populations to reach. As if populations are at half BMSY, or half the level required to produce the maximum sustainable yield, they can start to become more erratic and unpredictable. If you continue to take the maximum sustainable yield from a population that had such a low biomass, you would be in danger of damaging it. Between 0.5 BMSY and BMSY, so BMSY, uh, are st uh, this, is, this, this is a point where stock levels are lower than those required to produce a maximum sustainable yield and the danger point of 0.5 BMSY. A stock is generally regard, considered to be overfished because it's lower than the amount required to reliably produce the maximum sustainable yield. Stock levels higher than BMSY, the stock level required to reliably produce a maximum sustainable yield, are considered to be healthy. There are more than enough animals in the population to produce the maximum sustainable yield on a regular basis. If we try to maintain a fish population at exactly BMSY, the level required to produce the maximum sustainable yield, we would be in danger of being in the overfished zone 50% of the time. Fishery science is an Im imprecise one and it's very difficult to know exactly how much of a stock there is in the sea. Therefore, it makes sense to try to maintain your stock levels at levels high, slightly above the re those required to produce the maximum sustainable yield. 
has generally accepted a biomass or stock size roughly a third bigger than BMSY, that's the level required to produce a maximum sustainable yield, is a safe place to be. It would mean that if the population dropped a bit due to poor conditions, there's still a buffer to prevent the population falling below the BMSY level. This point here is sometimes referred to as B buff. This solid black line represents a fishing strategy. It says that when a particular stock is above the biomass required to produce a maximum sustainable yield, then you should fish it to 90% of its maximum. This buffer here, this is another sort of buffer that's saying, don't take the maximum, take a little bit less as an insurance policy. Below BMSY, the strategy suggests that fewer fish should be taken as the stock size approaches the danger point of half the uh, BMSY, or half the point, uh, half, the, half that required to produce the maximum sustainable yield. So 0.5 BMS, BMSY catch level should be zero. At BMSY levels, catch level should be one, and in between there's a range of uh, uh, catches that should be taken. A slightly more conservative strategy is represented by the dotted line. This one suggests that you should never take more than 75% of the maximum sustainable yield. And as before, below BMSY, below the level of stock required to produce the maximum sustainable yield, there should be a decrease in the amount of stock taken. The point at which the buffer should be varies with stocks. In the first one third bigger is a the one third bigger is a rule of thumb for many stocks, but for sensitive food fish, uh, such as low trophic level stocks that feed on that are that are fed on by more predatory fish, some people suggest that a higher level, such as 1.5 or half again bigger than the ma the the size of stock required to produce maximum sustainable yield, should be used as your buffer point. Here's another possible strategy. In this strategy, where 90% of the maximum sustainable yield is permitted as long as the stock is above the BMSY level, below this point, no fishing is allowed at all. This kind of strategy is, of course, easy to enforce when you're dealing with a clean single species fishery rather than a multi species fishery. This would be a silly idea in a mixed species fishery. Here's one last possible strategy. In this one, no, no catches are permitted as long as stock levels are below that required to produce a maximum sustainable yield. Above that, increasing levels of catch are allowed until the stock levels recover to the one and one third buffalo level. Above this level stocks of stock size, it would perhaps be safe to allow for more stock to be removed because there's extra available in the standing stock. In some ways this could be a good thing as an overcrowded stock might contain many small low value individuals rather than a few larger robust ind individuals. However, before being able to manage stocks like this, we need to have um, managing stocks like this requires precision. We have to have a good idea of what there is in the sea and this in my view requires the fishing industry to get really involved in the monitoring of stocks it makes a living from. It should really be routine for fishermen to count and measure a proportion of the animals they capture. Not for government and institutions, but for themselves and for their industry. It's not rocket science, it's just fishery science.